This time we'll work backwards. We'll start with these four numbers in one's complement format and show what they look like in decimal. So my first number is 27 in hexadecimal, which looks like 0. The leading bit is a 0, so this is a positive number. That means I can just read off the bits as is, and that will be the magnitude of my number. So I have a 32 plus 7 gives me 39, and as mentioned, it's a positive number. So 27 in hexadecimal corresponds to 39 in decimal in the ones complement format. Second number is FFDA. Which looks like that in binary. Now in this case, my leading bit is a 1. So this is a negative number. That means that I can't just read off the bits and be done. I actually have to apply the ones complement operation to convert this back into a positive number so I can read the magnitude. So the ones complement operation says to flip all of the bits. So I can read this as being a negative number now. Now I have 32 plus 5. This gives me 37 in decimal, and this is a negative number. So FFDA corresponds to negative 37 in decimal. Our third example is 1C, This time, our leading bit is a zero. That means this is a positive number, and we can just read off the bits. So I have a 16, plus 8 is 24, plus 4 is 28. So 1C corresponds to positive 28 in decimal. Our last example is FFC3. which looks like this in binary. And because the leading bit is a 1, I've got a negative number. I'll need to apply the ones complement operation so that I get something I can read. Now I just need to add up the value of these four bits, and I'll know the magnitude. 32 plus 16 gives me 48, plus 8 is 56, plus 4 is 60. And remember, this is a negative number. So FFC3 corresponds to negative 60 in binary.